Hi guys, with this video, I'm kickstarting a new playlist uh, called Julia Components, and in it, we'll, we will dabble with the Julia programming language. Uh, it is quite similar to Python, but <clears throat> it should be in certain, uh, especially scientific uh, applications, should be faster than Python, at least it says so here and uh, we can then somewhere down the line test it test these claims and see if that's right or not it's an interesting language easy to learn uh, like i said very similar to python and the first step in our journey would be to download that interpreter and we go to julialang.org and they now currently it's in version 142 just download it install it so that would be the first step the second step is to get yourself uh, <clears throat> a sort of an IDE or text editor. I use and will be using in this series um, Visual Studio Code. Uh, and uh, I have the Julia extension uh, basically installed and enabled. Um, you can also use those uh, Jupyter Notebooks, which also allow you to sort of... Uh, um, run Julia code uh, if you're if you're familiar with them <clears throat> and what Julia no what Jupyter notebooks are basically sort of uh, you have a notebook which has multiple cells and um, um, it ru everything runs in the browser uh, I'm gonna stick to the Visual Studio code and should the need arise then I will you know jump over to Jupyter notebooks but right now we're going to stay in Visual Studio Code. So that's basically uh, Julia's installed and the extension in Visual Studio Code is enabled. Now we can start writing some code. And let's start with something simple, for instance, a print. And um, uh, strings come in double quotes. So just let me print that. Hi, guys. Save it. And now in Visual Studio Code, I can run it just by clicking that button and that should start running and there you go it, I, I just printed the output here out now uh, we have two types of print statements uh, one is the normal print we're using here and this prints um, everything along one line so basically if i run these two lines of code uh, hi guys how are you are going to be on one line and you see here it's on one line uh, whereas if you use print lin is basically on separate lines let's save it let's clear the outputs and let's run it again and now these two should be on different lines as we see right so that's 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 how you output stuff now uh, how do we input stuff? Well, inputting stuff is let's let's try something uh, something like that. So let me take that thing off, or let me just replace the text here. So let me ask you what what is your name? And now to get user input, I would just um, Create a variable, let's call it username, and that variable is equal to read line. That is how I can um, how I can get user input. And basically we can then print that user input like this. So uh, so your name is and then a comma and then I can add the variable which takes in the user input so let's save that and let's try it out now obviously if you out if you output that program this way uh, it would output this stuff here but it, you you're not able to input any anything in here so in order to run this is sort of an interactive program where it demands or requires interaction with the user this wouldn't run in the output then you would have to go to the terminal in uh, Visual Studio Code and in the terminal you have to go to your um, to your uh, uh, directory and that's the directory where that example is in and now the way I run that is basically 
called Julia. And then the name of the file, in this case, it is C underscore zero dot JL. Dot JL is the ending for all Julia files. So Julia C underscore zero dot JL and then run. So now you see it says, hi guys, what's your name? So I'm going to type in Eddie. And so your name is Eddie. So that's it. It just run. So that's how you input. You, you have user input and that's how you combine um, basically strings and a variable. Now the user input is always a string. It's always a string. We can test it out. If we say like, uh, or let's go down here. Um, so what, what type is um, that, that user input? So you use the function type of and username. And that, uh, let's do that print lin as well. So we'd have it on separate lines and save it. And let's go back in the terminal and call again Julia and C underscore zero dot JL and run that. So now, hi guys, what's your name, Eddie? And see, see, that is of type string. All right, so let's take, let's take that a step further. Um, let's, let's get this person's age as well. So to comment, uh, you can easily either use a, a you know, a, what do you call it, a pound. Uh, that's for a single line comment. If you have a multiple line comment, Let's say, let's put in here a multi-line multi comment. You use a pound, a uh, pound, and then similar like in Python. And then uh, the pound, is the, the pound, sorry, the, the pound is similar to one-line comments in Python. Um, what is not similar to Python is the multi-line comment, which in Julia would be pound equal. And then, you know, you write everything here. And then you close that comment with uh, equal pound. So that is a multi-line common, uh, whereas in Python, it is these three uh, apostrophes. Right, so that is that. Now, um, let's, get, let's get this person's age as well. So uh, print, uh, print line, uh, how old are you? Okay, question mark, and Got it. Yeah, space got it. Right. And then here again, uh, user age would be read line. And then uh, we can print so your. And then I need to insert the age. So I put in here user age and then comma and then years old okay so now we have <clears throat> a simple interaction here save it simple interaction with the program uh, with the user where the user inputs his name then the program asks him, asks him for his age and he inputs his age now let's try that out again in terminal like i said because we're demanding input from the from the user we can't just output it like this because if you see uh just output the first two lines and after that you, you just can't go on you know because you can't put any in, um, any inputs in here in the outputs so that's why interactive um applications as long as we're not using a certain user interface or a, or a, or a web browser uh, would be via the terminal and uh, to call the application via the terminal would be julia and then the name of the file c0.jl and here we go what's your name let's call let me say john and now how old are you now it's uh, i'm 24 and now i've done a mistake here Oh, yeah, I, I see it. Uh, I see here I've just added a, instead of, I should have be a comma, I added a dot. So now that should uh, be better. Let's try it out again. That should work, Julia. Uh, C0.jl. And so what's your name? Uh, let's call it Mike. And how old are you? 26. And so you're 26 old. So you see here now, this is this is sort of, the first basics of uh, working with Julia, and uh, one thing one thing is important is to note that um, 
when we read, these are all strings. So again, here, user age, it might be, you know, you'd say, oh, you know what, why? I'm, I'm put inputting a number. No, because again, user age is also a string. It's not a number. Uh, print uh, uh, type of user age. Uh, user age. And here again, uh, we're going to be use a seeing that that's also a string. So if I go with Julia, c0.jl and again let's call uh, j let's do 38 and you see uh, the 38 is of type string so um, so uh, you'd have to watch out for that if you wish to use that number in some arithmetic uh, sense uh, another thing here is uh, very similar to python we have a, a function within a function goes very simple and you can also add some text here so um, uh, something like that and close comma so you know this is sort of how you can combine things the syntax is I mean you've got some syntactical differences in terms of uh, you know printlin I don't uh, I don't I'm never it doesn't exist in Python and uh, stuff like that but basically it's a sort of the same thinking and let's try it out again. And now you can see now, um, oops, let's see zero dot JL. And uh, so, uh, oh, I don't know, 30 and uh, 32. So you see type of input age is string. So so I can basically interact with the program and that, that is important to, to, to watch out for. Uh, because in a subsequent video, we're going to be using that age for certain things.